Hi guys, my name is Henry Wijaya. Welcome to this tutorial for Shivers by Ed Sheeran from his latest album, Equals. This tutorial is on how to play Shivers based on Ed Sheeran's live performance. And this is the second part of my tutorial. The first one, the other one is on how to play the song acoustics. So only using your guitar. Well, this one, the second part is on how to play Shivers using a loop pedal. They are not exclusive to each other, meaning you don't have to watch the first part before you watch this one. However, I would say that knowing how to play the song acoustics will actually help a lot with playing it using a loop pedal. This tutorial is divided into three major sections. In the first one, I'll show you how I set up the tracks in my loop pedal. And in the second one, I'll show you how to build the initial loop before we start playing the song. And in the last one, the third one, I'll show you how we play the loop pedal throughout the entire song. This is how I set up my loop station to play shivers. There are three separate tracks. The first track, track one, is reserved for bass and melody. Melody here means the main riff of the song. The second track is reserved for boom and guitar. Boom here means the drum sound. I use the word boom because this is the same label or word that Ed Sheeran uses in his loop machine. The third track is reserved for beat and guitar. Beat here is short for beatboxing that you make with your mouth. And the guitar part here is different from the guitar part in the track two. As you can see here, I'm still using the old Boss RC300. I know that Boss has offered newer and more modern loop pedals, even with more tracks. There are also different loop stations from other brands that also gives us uh, more tracks in their loop stations. Because this one, Boss RC300, only has three separate tracks. And that's why it's gonna be impossible for us to use this to copy how Ed Sheeran plays because his looper has f at least four separate tracks. However, I stick with this one, even though this is really old, because I, I think this is still the best out there. If, if you really want to emulate how Ed Sheeran plays using a loop pedal, it has a large and easy to distinguish foot pedals, which will allow us to play smoothly without stopping while performing the song. Let's get started with building the initial loop. The first track, track one, essentially consists of two major parts, the bass and the melody or the main riff. Let's start with the bass. It should sound like this. Okay, first learn to do this. You use your thumb to do this. Hit only the top of the strings, around the sixth and the fifth string. And use the rest of your right hand fingers to do this. And use your left hand fingers to keep the strings here from ringing, from making any sound. So you should practice to do this. After you can do that, now you need to add the bass. The bass, the notes consist of the loose E and the bass. So for A minor, loose A and A. 
for F, lose E, and F. For C, lose E, and C. For G, lose E, and G. So. And you play those notes using your thumb. So slowly it goes like this. You start the loop using your foot here and then you stop here as you go back to the first part all right in normal speed it should sound like this That's where the loop starts right so that's the first part the bass as soon as you finish inputting the bass line you need to immediately switch to inputting the melody or the main riff I would say that the key to emulate Ed Sheeran's looping style is to be efficient with your loop building you need to get every part correctly to get every part right the first time so you don't need to repeat the loop sound again and again and again because that's gonna make the loop building too long and it will make your audience boring when I do that while I'm still practicing my wife usually asks me these questions when are you going to start singing exactly so if you want to emulate adherence, be efficient with your loop building. Now, after the bass, the next part is the melody. It's this one. The notes are La, Do, Re, Mi La, Do, Re, Mi Sol, Do, Re, Mi Sol, Si, Do, Re Okay, instead of memorizing with strings and with fret, you need to learn where the notes are so you can search them yourself so again the notes are from the beginning la do re mi la do re mi sol do re mi sol si do Re. Okay. Now, with your left hand fingers, you play those notes in staccato way, meaning you quickly lift your fingers as soon as you produce the sound. So. So you do not press too long, not like this. Okay, but quickly lift off your fingers. For your right hand fingers, use the thumb and your index finger. 
use your thumb to pull the fourth string and your index finger to pull the third string okay now if you have a MIDI controller you will repeat that melody but now using the MIDI sound like Ed Sheeran that's what he does however I don't have any MIDI controller so what I usually do is repeat the same melody on my guitar but now I will play the notes normally so longer So that's what I do for the melody or the main riff. In total, the first track will contain this. right again pay attention to the switch after you finish the first part you quickly switch to the melody right so you don't need to wait for the loop to play one more circle and that's how you be efficient with your loop building after you finish inputting the first track, you need to immediately switch to the second track to be efficient. The second track consists of the boom and the guitar. The boom goes like this. It essentially, it's like this. Again. You repeat that four times for every chord. So. Okay. Ed Sheeran actually adds one more boom. The way he placed it is like this. However, if I do that with my guitar and my loop pedal, the sound becomes too crowded. So I would just recommend doing that. Okay, don't forget to use your left fingers to keep the sound from ringing. Now, as soon as you finish that part, you start with the guitar part. It's for the chorus. It goes like this. Okay, now I will not break that down. If you need more explanations on that, please go check my first tutorial video on how to play the song acoustics and check the chorus part. That's what we do here. And that's the second track, the boom and the guitar. After that, you quickly switch to the third track. The next part, the third track consists of two parts. It goes like this. Right. 
right for the guitar part is the same part as the verse in the acoustic playing so if you need more explanations on that part please also check my previous tutorial and learn the first part for the guitar you need to accompany this part with a beatboxing it's really simple it's just this sound right and you need to be efficient you need to play those two parts together slowly Right, and that's the third track. So when you have completed building the initial loop, now it's time to start singing. So what you do is you let the loop play one more time, one more circle. Before the ending, you hit stop. And then you sing the first line of the verse, this part. I took an arrow to the heart When you reach heart You step your foot on track 1 And thus activating the bass and the melody And you sing along with it When you reach the second half of the first one Lipstick on my guitar ooh, You have two options there The first one Just keep on singing Without playing the guitar and your second option is to add this part. Lipstick on my guitar, ooh. Fill up the engine, we can drive real far. Right, if you need more explanation on that part, please feel free to check my other video. Check the verse part. So you have two options. Sometimes Ed Sheeran plays that guitar part, Sometimes he just continues singing without playing the guitar. So it's up to you. Me, myself, I would prefer also playing the guitar to make the sound in the second half of the verse richer, more colorful. But that's how you play the verse. In the pre-chorus, you will add track 3. So... Wanna be that guy? Before you hit that part, when you play A minor, you step your foot on track 3 to activate it. As for the guitar, you also have two options. You can just continue singing without playing your guitar, or you can play your guitar. Here, you still use the first part. But that sound is also already available in track 3. So if you want to skip playing the guitar, that's also fine. I usually play the guitar part, but it's up to you. And that's how you play the pre-chorus. And then, if you watched the first video on how to play it acoustics, you know that we close the pre-chorus with something special, with the variations like this. Right. So when you hit the G chord in the second part, you will stop everything. Track one, track, track three, you will stop everything and you play that, that last bit to close the pre-chorus. Now we get to the chorus. In chorus, you essentially sing the same part two times. This part. Ooh, I love it when you do it like that. You will sing that part two times, but there's a slight difference between the first and the second part. In the first part, what you need to play actually are just track one and track three, because you don't want to play this part. Right. However, 
it's gonna be difficult if you play the if you step your foot on track one and track three so what i recommend is first you step your foot in play all and then you quickly stop track two so you have to be really really careful here if not you will mess up the entire song so again in the first part singing the chorus you step your foot in play all and then you quickly turn off track two while you're doing that you need to keep on playing the guitar part and then you stop everything in the middle when we get to bring it right back and then when you repeat the second part of chorus that's where you really play everything track one track two and track three while you're singing along and playing the guitar part and that's how you play the chorus after you finish singing the second part of the chorus you get into the second verse and you have to be careful here you need to keep on singing and you need to keep the loop pedal playing but when you get to the second verse into the car your foot need to quickly turn off track two and then track three so be careful you do not stop everything and hit track one but instead you keep everything playing and then you use your foot to stop track two and track three meanwhile you keep on singing and after that for verse two you sing along with track one the bass and the melody in the second half of the verse you can add the guitar part or not it's up to you and then you go back to pre-chorus the same as the previous part and then go back to chorus one more time like in the previous part when you reach the bridge you also have to be really careful because now you use your foot to turn off track one and track two meanwhile you keep on singing so be careful there if not you will mess up the entire song so in the bridge you sing along only with track three now if you remember in the bridge we also sing the same part twice baby you burn so hot so the first time you sing along with track number three in the second part you quickly step on track one and you also play the guitar part right that's the second part of the bridge and then you stop everything before you hit the last chorus so you got me singing like so no loop no guitar you stop everything there and then you get to the final chorus there's only a slight variations for the final chorus in the previous two we just play track one and track three in the beginning but for final chorus from the beginning you just play everything so you hit play all start singing and start playing your guitar and that's how you start the final chorus and then you end it as usual hey you add hey at the end and that's the end of the song so that's it that's how you play shivers using a loop pedal it's not easy but actually not difficult either the key to the loop part is to be efficient when building it and the key to singing 
the song is you need to really memorize the lyrics so it will not divide your attention distract you when you're performing the song and the key to the guitar playing also the same practice enough so you can play it naturally without distracting your concentration or your focus right so that's it let me know if you have any comments questions feedback or anything and i'll try my best to help you thank you for watching and i'll see you in the other tutorial have a nice day